In the previous video I showed you how I configured Raspberry Pi as an internet gateway for my small mining farm. I showed how I set up internet gateway connection, how I set up OpenVPN and also I showed how I uh, configured backup communication channel using SMS text messages. In this video we will talk how to use Raspberry Pi to remotely control another PC. I mean how to use Raspberry Pi to remotely switch on and off or reset another PC just by using command line. Let's go! So as you remember my mining farm will be located in a very remote location and I need the possibility to reset it remotely just by using command line in case it hangs. You can imagine if you are overclocking graphic cards uh, the hang of the system could be quite common. So I needed the possibility to reset it not by uh, going there but uh, using just command line. And for this I use GPIO port which is available on every Raspberry Pi and uh, I needed to connect it to the pins that are available on every motherboard uh, which you simply connect to the buttons on the front panel of your PC. Of course I couldn't connect them directly because it would burn uh, Raspberry Pi or motherboard or both so I needed to use some kind of schematics. And here it is, uh, here's the schematics that I came up with. So what we have here? On the right we have the uh, Raspberry Pi and on the left these are the pins from the motherboard and I used optical separator board, uh, this is dual channel optical separator board, very cheap one that you can buy on uh, AliExpress or eBay, whatever you prefer. Uh, and I also used some standalone optical separator just to read uh, the status of power LED from the motherboard. So first let's have a look at this uh, optical separator board. Uh, as I said, you can buy it on eBay or AliExpress, it's very cheap. Uh, let's have a quick look. Uh, there are multiple uh, kinds of this optical separator board. Let's have a look if you can find uh, the one I have. Mm, yes, here it is. Okay, so let's get back to the schematics. As I said, it is dual channel board, so there are two similar cha channels here and we have two inputs here. So each channel consists of two main uh, elements. The first element is uh, this small black element here, uh, it is optical separator and uh, the second one is the actual relay switch. So it works in an inverted way, which means if I provide plus 5 volts nothing will change and the switch will remain in the turned off position, which is illustrated here at the diagram. But if I provide, if I short any of these inputs to ground, the switch will be turned on and a small signaling diode will light up. So the only thing I need to do is to control uh, GPIO ports uh, on Raspberry Pi programmatically to set them to 0, uh, which is 0 volts, or to 1, which is plus 5 volts, meaning 0 is turned on and 1 in the, is turned off. I use this pull-up resistors just to avoid random state changes uh, of the GPIO port pins and therefore random uh, reset of the computer, which I'm trying to control too. Uh, you can imagine, if the state is not defined, uh, the optical separator board could behave randomly, let's say. And to avoid it, uh, I'm just pulling up these lines to pl plus 5 volts to assure that uh, the switches are off, the relay switches are off. And uh, if I need to turn them on programmatically, then I'm just putting them down to zero, uh, to logical zero, and the relay will be turned on. Okay, uh, so now let's have a look at the at this line. This uh, line is used to read power LED status, so it is connected directly to the input of optical separator and I just use one resistor to limit the current uh, to not burn uh, the optical separator. And when the power is not provided, which means that the motherboard is turned off, the transistor in the optical separator is open, it, which means that this and these points are not connected. 
and this is again a pull-up resistor that is providing plus 5 volts to the input of GPIO port in such state. But if the power is provided to the power LED pins, the transistor will be closed, so this point will be close to ground and it became 0 volts available on GPIO port. And my program will read 0, which means that uh, the motherboard is turned on. So actually all the states here are inverted. We need to put 0 to press the button and we need to read 0 to understand that the motherboard is powered on. Ok, so this is the uh, schematics part. Now let's switch to the program part of this small project. For this let's go to my GitHub and uh, you need PyControlPC project. This is the very simple program that I wrote uh, in Python to control the GPIO port. By the way, the schematics is also available here. So first let's have a quick look at the config file. Uh, as you can see it's very simple, I'm defining three arrays here for power pins, reset pins and status pins. Uh, this is needed because I can have uh, more than one uh, mining rig that I want to control and I'm defining the pins for the first mining rig. This is it and let's go to the program. And uh, in the program, what we have here, these lines are just defining the uh, power pin, reset pin and status pin, uh, depending on the command line parameter that was provided, this should be the name of the mining rig exactly as it is provided in the config file, uh, otherwise uh, some error will be thrown. And the next step is, uh, the program is setting up power pin and reset pin as output pins and setting them to high and the status pin is uh, set up as input pin. And depending on the command, reset power or power for seconds, the state of the output pins uh, is turned low and then turned high. Now let's have a look at the get status command. So it's actually reading the status of the status pin and as you remember it was inverted, so if it is 1 then the status is 0, otherwise it is 1. Ok, so uh, this was the program part of this project, now let's have a look how it works. So here it is how it was assembled, here is optical separator board and this is optical separator for the LED status pin. So now let's issue power command. You see that the power LED turned on and off very quickly and you heard the uh, relay switching sound. Uh, let's do the same for the reset pin. Ok, now let's try to use uh, power for second command. Great. Mm, ok, now let's try to read the status of the LED. Now it is not connected, so I'm expecting to read 0, and here it is, it is 0. Now let's provide some power to the input uh, of the optical separator. And let's read the status. Ok, it's 1. After everything was tested, uh, I put it uh, into a small nice box and uh, attach it to the uh, mining rig. So everything uh, looks nice and cool. So here it is, this is how you can use Raspberry Pi GPIO port to turn on or off the PC remotely or to read its status. If you like to support me and you like this video, please give a thumb up, please subscribe to my channel and uh, see you next time.